slow down our travel a bit. Four, there we go. So we're traveling just much, much slower. We need to start moving upwards. It's possibly too much. Okay, again, we want to get that one in touch with that one. And we are ever so, ever so close now. Ever so close. Right, we are almost directly underneath it. Yeah, well, again, this is Kerbal Space Program. Boom happens. Boom happens occasionally when you've just gone back to the planet and load the ship back up again. It objects to something that you've connected. So, slow it down a tiny bit. Nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. This is a bit boring, I'm sorry. And probably when I put on this on YouTube, I will speed it up. Let's start moving upwards. We just want to line those up exactly. Well, not exactly, exactly, exactly. We want to get them close. And then they will do the rest, actually. Right, we're a little bit... We'll go this way. And we want to slow down some. I didn't balance out the... Yeah, I don't think I balanced out the um, monopropellant thrusters quite right on this. You know, it's every time we use them, we wobble a little bit. Which is not perfect. But it's not the end of the world either. Okay, so let's slow that down. Uh, very close. And let's start going up a tiny bit. And Right, we're just going at tenth of a meter a second now. We're a little bit off. Right, we're a f about the width of a docking port out, which is not bad. So we'll just do a tiny little bit of uh, okay, and I want to turn that slightly so that it aligns with these. With these solar panels here, just a tiny bit more, tiny bit more. There we go. Right, that's good enough. Okay, so let's get ourselves lined up exactly like that. Just move across a bit, move up a little bit. Nearly, nearly, nearly there. We need to move forward. It's so, so very close now. You see, we're hardly moving at all, which is exactly the amount of speed we want to go here. And as we just get these close enough, these are magnetic and they will take care of the rest of it for us. So close, 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 close. Nearly, nearly, slow that down, nearly, nearly there, and yes, you see that, they're pulling to each other now, they will do the last tiny bit of lining up for us. And in just a second, we shall have a connection. There we go. Right. There you go, guys. We have joined together our first two bits of Space Station. All right. And I'll tell you what. I've decided I want to keep this because we ended up not using it. So what I'm going to do is just find the control or here which unfortunately I hid more or less while making it 
there we go rename vessel so we should call that excuse me so our little tug which I've decided I'm going to keep we should call Marvin oh just in case I've done something really stupid here let's just check Yeah, I've renamed the whole thing Marvin. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, so let's decouple that. So let's decouple Marvin from the rest of the space station like that. Okay. So we'll just back him off a little bit. Like that. Just back him off a few meters. And while I'm doing this, okay, would somebody kindly um, just cut and paste the name of the space station again? We actually need to rotate that. There we go. Let's rotate that by 90 degrees and the controls will make a bit more sense. There we go, that's better. Baron Humbert von Gickigen, thank you very much, Miss Fujimoto. So let's just copy that. Uh, in which case, welcome back, Chelsea Sama. Uh, Chelsea. Um, uh, right, so let's switch back to our space station. Not that, that, there we go. And just rename the thing. Rename vessel, rename the vessel. Van Humbert von Gickigigen Station. There we go. Right, and now the last thing we want to do is we want to redock Marvin on the side there. And you know what? He's almost there. So we just redock him again. Get them lined up a little bit. Like that. And a bit of thrust. And he's going to get slurped up. And bang. There we go. Right. So there we go. All right, we've made a space station in two launches. You didn't see the first launch, but you saw the second launch with no boom, which is pretty much a record. So what we'll do is we will not tempt face. We'll save that. Okay, so we save that and let's get out of here. Let's go back to the space center. I want to try building something. I don't know if it's going to work. In fact, I know it probably won't. So you're going to get lots of booms out of this. So what we're going to do is we are going to try and build ourselves a rover. We don't have any rover parts though. So this is going to be loads and loads of fun. We'll start off with a drone core because there's no reason why we should kill any Kerbals while making this. Just get that out of the way. And let's add a fuel tank to it. There we go. So we'll have a couple of these. That'll give us plenty of fuel. And we don't have any powered wheels because Amazingly, Kerbals invented space travel before they invented the car. Actually, let's stick one of those on. That'll stop it from falling over a little bit, and we'll put a, an engine on that. We will put a little jet engine on the back of there. Okay, um, that's how we're going to power our rover. 
and in order to get it going we're going to need some wheels and I'm thinking we'll just use these so we'll put the wheels on the side here pair like that at the front and pair like that at the back and that is a fairly simple space uh, it's a fairly simple little rover but I think what it's actually going to need it's going to need a few of these so we'll stick a few solar panels on it as well because this is probably going to use a lot of electric charge so we'll just get it to get some charge on the back there okay so we should call this rover go boom okay um so save as we shall launch that and let's try this out Hey, it's enjoyed the old job idea so much it jumped right so that's oh right uh, it would help if I put some air intakes because the jet engines don't work without air intakes silly me so let's grab an air intake I, mean, I don't even know if this is going to work, but if it does work, we shall. Well, basically, we'll destructively test it. How's that? All right. Is that why it jumped? No, it's because um, the physics doesn't quite work when it's just loading up. Basically, it it it, um, it decides. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna load this up without physics and all of a sudden I want to apply physics to it and then it goes boom. Uh I'm not seeing any problems at my end, guys, so I hope it's uh, it gets better for you. Right. Oh, okay, so no computer controls. Excellent. Alright, so that's stage and let's see how we go. Right, we are moving forwards. Oh, we are moving forwards very fast. Let's slow down. Okay, so we are moving forward to quite a lick here, and we can't actually go slower, but we can turn. So let's slowly turn around, and let's go across the grass. Oh, this is actually working quite well. All right, so let's get us headed towards these hills over here, and then we'll open up and see how it goes. Right, so we're traveling quite comfortably and turning quite easily at 30 meters a second um, 30 times 60 is is about 1000 so this is, is about two kilometers I think it's about two kilometers an hour right so let's open the engine up a bit and let's see what happens as we speed up uh, here we go the engine is biting and we are speeding up 100 meters a second oh terrain coming towards us oh boom right there's our first low as uh, there's our first um, boom so we're going to refer it to launch let's try something else I think this will float so let's see if we can make it float <laughs> boom finally <laughs> okay so let's see if we can get this into the water all right, all right. um oh it, i didn't realize it's it's gone nine o'clock so we will be playing something else soon talk are you still around my friend okay so oh yes no computer control so let's throttle all the way back because we know that that's a bit dangerous otherwise let's start this up there's water if we just back off here there's water over there so let's go into the water let's see if this has all the grace of a duck 
uh, I talk, talk, my friend. Are you are you feeling well enough to do this? Because if you are not, then I'll go. I'll play agrarian science after this. Uh, agrarian skies after this. Um, which you know that might have lots of booms in it as well. Because I'm going to be making a nuclear reactor. Yes, you heard me correctly. I'm going to be making a nuclear reactor. Right, if we can get into the water all right, then we'll open it up and see what it's like over the water. Um, it might sink. It might swim. It might go way, way too fast. Touch the brakes a little bit, slow us down. Break, 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 break. Okay, taking this very, very carefully into the water. Let's just go down to about 30 meters a second. Three, two, one. There we go, right, slow that down. Okay, let's just get us off the end of the runway and into the water. Mm. Oh, oh dear. No, no, don't, don't victimize talk. We were playing a game, and he's, he's, he's ill. Poor chap. Right, we're entering rough territory here. So let's slow down a touch more. I should have put some lights on this. Oh yeah, right down. Oh and onto the beach let's slow this right the way down because hitting the water in this game is like hitting a brick so we want to slow all the way down oh careful 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 all the way down slowly does it in fact, let's cut the engines. Uh, nearly in the water. There we go. Right, we're going nice and slowly now. He says as it speeds up like mad. We just want to be going at trickle of speed when we hit the water, because the water hits back. Excellent, right. Has anything fallen off? Nothing has fallen off. Full throttle! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Fujimoto. Right, okay, so we're traveling over the water, and it seems to be working, as a matter of fact. Right, going slowly, but... We are speeding up. Are we going to get much speed out of this? We're not really, are we? Hey! I have no idea why it's doing that. Okay, so it makes a pretty crap boat. Can we get it to go down? Oh, all right, the engine's blown up. <laughs> okay, right, revert, revert flight, revert to launch. Okay, all right, another one. Want to turn us around fast? I want us to get heading over towards, let's head, let's head to that mountain. Let's see if I can get us to climb a mountain. So there we go. All right, and we'll just let that speed up. Speed time up a little bit here. Zip, 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 zip across the land. We're only doing 50 meters a second, but we are whoa we are traveling way too fast okay um we were actually traveling at four times speed so it was the equivalent of 200 meters a second so what i want to do is i want to get us slowly up onto this terrain here let's get onto some rough terrain and let's see how it goes all right so we cut the engine and we'll slow this down three two one 
Uh, it does not like going in a straight line, does it? Where's the mountain? Okay, so we slowed all the way down. Let's give it a little bit of thrust. Let's see if we can get up onto the hill. Oh, I'm really sorry you've got a headache. I, I, I truly hope you feel better soon. Right, okay, so we're traveling over rough territory, we're traveling towards the mountains, and what you do under those circumstances, you turn the throttle up to full. So let's see what it does. It does that! Yay! Okay. Righty ho, right, okay, so another boom. What else can we do with this? I know what, let's give it some wings. So we won't revert back to this. Let's take it one step back, revert back to the space plane here, and let's give it some wings. Okay. Ow! Oh. The game crashed. <laughs> okay, right. So what do you guys think of Kerbal Space Program, especially the ones of you who haven't played it before? I, I I I truly 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 recommend this game. It is it's a lot of fun, okay? And if you if you if you get a little bit of physics knowledge and a bit of understanding of the way it goes, you can actually do some really incredibly th incredible things. I'm so sorry, Miss Fujimoto. I apologize for waking you up. Now, Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to start, start up Kerbal Space Program anymore uh, again, but um, if you guys like, I'm going to just take a very quick break, then I'll come back, and um, I was thinking perhaps we could play a little bit more Elite Dangerous, and then at about 10 o'clock-ish, in about an hour's time, we saw switch over, and if Tort is feeling up to it, we'll play a bit of Portal, if not, we shall play some Minecraft. How's that, guys? You know what? I think you've got a bit of a problem with Damien. Hmm. Yeah, I measure time in farmer's miles, Miss Fujimoto. <laughs> okay, I shall be back in just a minute. <laughs> 